Hi, I'm Simon Watson. I'm the module leader for WinPower 2. This module builds on what we've been learning in WinPower 1. Where we begin by looking in more detail at wind resource assessment, including, for example, how advanced numerical models are used for predicting wind conditions in some of the more challenging wind conditions, such as where we've got um, forests or complex terrains, such as hills and mountains, and in the offshore environment. We then consider the dynamic response of wind turbines and how knowledge of this response is important in both their design and their operation. Wind farms are becoming ever larger and the aerodynamic interactions between the turbines is very important in terms of the expected power output of the wind farm and the fatigue loading of each of the machines. We'll consider this in the module when we look at wind turbine wakes, including the anatomy of a wake, its characteristics and how to predict the characteristics of wakes using different types of model. With the move to offshore, the logistics, operations and maintenance of offshore wind farms are important factors in the cost of energy. Offshore wind farms can be difficult to access, especially during the winter months, and so proactive maintenance and designing turbines for reliability are becoming very important. We'll look at the reliability of modern wind turbines and how condition monitoring can be used for advanced fault detection and diagnosis. Large offshore wind farms far from shore need detailed planning in quite a number of different areas. We'll look at the electrical connections of offshore wind farms, including the various options, particularly looking at AC and DC connections. Industrial lecturers will come along and talk about the logistics of managing offshore wind farms and the software tools that are being used in the industry, uh, particularly the sort of tools that are used for predicting multiple weight losses and for planning the, the layouts accordingly. There will also be a guest lecture looking at the challenge of integrating increasing amounts of wind power into modern electricity networks. The coursework element of this module will be group based where students will work together to plan an offshore wind farm for a specific site including various aspects including the resource, how the wind turbine needs to be, how the wind farm needs to be constructed, the connection aspects and also the logistics. Uh, in summary, this module will provide an in-depth look at some of the more advanced aspects of wind turbine design, wind farm planning and how to operate wind farms in an offshore environment. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you in the Wind 2 module and uh, bye for now.